Hey, orange one here. So, uh, we got kind of a weird issue with, uh, Chip Chop here. I'm really excited to play as him, but he could be nicknamed, uh, Zoolander because he can't go left. Whenever I hit, uh, what would be four on my keyboard, um, because I have remapped some of my keyboard because it doesn't have a number pad, uh, I get this message. So, it tells me to select a direction like it's a force attack, but when I look at the controls, I'm not seeing anything related to that, and all the other keys seem to work fine. So we're gonna play with it, you know, for some reason this move west is not working for us. Um, even though it says D4 right there, and I can't see anything else uh, using D4, we're just gonna not go left, basically, which is gonna be kind of annoying. But we'll, we'll make it work. Chip Chops just got a little bit of a, I don't know, uh, special need there. It's gonna be, it's gonna make this character pretty interesting to play. Um, and let's see, how do you, uh, chat, um, I'm looking for work. Find Morris, why more? Okay. Sounds good. I will try to find them in my limited movement. Are you? I think you're, you're who I'm trying to talk to. Let's try and talk to this guy. Now, this is the village tinker. Oh, okay. Do you have work? No, you do not. Let's try trading. Oh, well, I've got some data disks and some weird artifact. Um, I have no water. That's gonna be an issue. I'm gonna have to get some water. We're gonna have to, like, I don't know, kill something. Or steal something. I'm, I'm not really sure. Is that... Glowfish the mayor. Okay, I can actually go left if I go left with my uh, my arrow keys. So if I chat to you, Gromad Merchant, uh, raid. You got some artifacts, some probably grenades there. Though Chip Chop, although he's fancy and he's a man of civilization, he um he doesn't know uh. He's not super intelligent, so I don't think he's going to be good at decoding stuff. Oh, you're just a pig farmer? Well, I don't want to talk to you. I have sworn that you were the, the leader of these people. Oh, are you the, uh, the zealot? Um... <laughs> no, we're going to accept that quest because this still is such a good place to go to. You're the warden? What? You're you're like a glowfish. Like look at this guy right here. How do we look again? L yeah, here we go. A disc of leaf and uh Okay. You are apparently impossible for me to kill, so there's that. If I look at these guys, what are they? A glow pad. So this is just a regular glow pad right here. Yeah, I can't can't chat with a glow pad. Kinda makes sense. God, this movement is gonna be so annoying. Where is the leader of this place? Yeah, this is the movement is really, really driving me bonkers. You're not the leader. Um, is the leader maybe up here? Oh, yeah, I think you might be our our mayor. Yeah, dude. Okay, more of us. Okay, so what's the mission you got for me? Um, sure. I'm I'm a little bit worried that this is going to lead to my death, trying to take out that glowfish. I mean, it is just a glowfish. I mean, we are literally a level one uh, character, and all we have is, like, a tunic. Like, we don't have, like, really anything. We've got a uh, steel potter's knife, um, which I think we probably want to replace with the hand axe. Actually, I don't know. Steel Potter's knife is actually better than this this hand axe. 
That's kind of weird. Okay. Um, let's also just kind of have a look at, if we go through the menu here, can't really make anything. I do have cleave. Um, which is definitely worth noting. We also have dual wield, so we could have both those weapons in our hands. We do have short blade expertise as well, so essentially these two things are nearly the same. We are slightly better with an axe. We will use our axe there. We exile the map. I don't see our mission. Uh, let's go back to Shabal. I need to look at, what is it, Q for quests? Located a secluded mer merchant located east along the road that runs through the lair of Igus legendary glowfish. Oh, so we're looking for a merchant. We don't actually have to go into um, Igor, Igor's home. So we need to be kind of careful because there could be, um, seeing how we're like literally level one, there could be like snap jobs around here that could just kill me. So I just need to be on alert while we're walking around here. We should also probably do water ritual with those people back there, but we don't have any water. Is this fresh water here? What is this? Oop. Sorry, give me... Uh... Nope. Sorry. Don't want to take a call right now. Um... What is this? No, it's salty water. Okay. Don't want that then. I need to find something that I can easily kill. Are you gonna just destroy me? Oh, they're actually docile. So they're not actually attacking me. Interesting. So Snapjaws and I are not hostile to each other. Um, that's good to know. I might... Oh, we actually do have some fresh water. Okay, um... Can I... I can gain quickness like that. We also have Flurry and Rebuke Robot. Okay, so we can't harvest anything yet. I think... I'm just going to attack this guy. Force attack. Um, actually, hold on. Just give me a second. Inventory. We do have a chemicel there. That is something that we probably want to um, keep in mind. Yeah, force attack the Snapjaw. Oh wow, we killed it in one hit. Okay. We gained 25 experience there. We need like 10 kills like that. I think, being how we're a true Ken character, we can probably afford to just do like that. The, the snap jaws around here. Um, what are you? Apple Farmer's daughter. Well, we're gonna fall in love with you if we look at you for too long, so I'm not looking to fall in love right now. Chip Chop. Yeah. He, uh, he's. Oh, wow. There's a lot of snap jaws here. They're hostile, actually. Um, did they hear about what I did to their friend? I feel like they did. There was a shotgunner back there, that was part of the reason that I didn't engage them. Sure, we could kill one of them so quickly, but there was a lot of them. Okay, there's actually... These guys, they're... Probably gonna kill the Snapjaws. Okay, so I'm also recognizing that when I'm pressing home here... I don't know if it's passing time. So the wait it doesn't seem to be working for me. Um, we'll have to keep that in mind. So, can I... How do I do this? I, I want to unlock, so that's F1. We'll just look at what we got on the ground here. Just a corpse? Nah, there's there's some stuff we can pick up. So I'm picking up stuff with a G. I'm gonna pick up the bronze dagger for now. Uh, daggers are a nice thing to pick up to get a little bit of um, value. Okay, that dude does seem to be coming towards me. Um, I'm just gonna check my controls because I 
I want to know how I wait. Wait. Um, wait a number of turns. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not seeing any any way for us to wait. Can I? Oh, also wait. We should have that be right there. Okay. Yes. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Okay, so we got a bandage, which is actually good because I should probably not have gone adventuring without a bandage. That's kind of dumb of me. I might go back to the village, seeing how it's night. Uh, can I exit out of here and then come back at Shabal? Yes, I can. Yeah, we didn't go far enough away for it to really be an issue. Um, let's use that one control to go left. And let's see, where is that dude? Uh, we probably also want to get this torch back out. Yeah. And we'll try and find what's his face. Well, actually, you know who we should really do talk to is the... Um, well, basically anyone that will, will water ritual with me. And you will not water ritual with me, so... Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Let me know if you want me to change the volume in this game. I'm thinking that I'm probably not going to die instantly, but I could be wrong about that. Okay, so now the village likes me a little bit more. Um, doesn't that drink? Will you trade with me at all? No, he's got nothing to trade. So he literally doesn't have any items. Is that what I'm I'm reading? Oh, there's a glow pad, and then there's that dude lying on the hammock. So I've got a nice hammock myself, and I always like when I see that in games. Because honestly, man, hammocks are amazing. I love them. Oh no, this dudes he's asleep. Um would the the merchant maybe water ritual with me? Yeah, you might. You might. Sure. Um no, you won't water ritual with me, but you might might trade something that I want. Have you got I kind of want a better axe. But, I mean, we could get that, but that's going to cost us way too much. We don't have that kind of cash. Also, some armor would be nice. I would really appreciate some actual proper armor. We could, get, we could probably get that. We could get the lasting skull cap. Or we could, at the very least, get leather armor. I think that we should probably get the leather armor just to make sure we don't die. Um, I want one of those. What does this do? What, um, yeah, look at it. Okay, so that just makes it easier to dodge, is what I'm seeing. I don't want to spend some water on this, but I think we need to, um, accrue more wealth before we do that. Um, and I do want to hold on to the books for now. Yes. I don't care. I, I think we need le leather armor. <laughs> it just seems like we're gonna die. Oh, actually, hold on. This gives one armor two dodge. I think two armor is better, to be honest. I could be wrong. I think I'd like to have a little more armor protection. I'm not gonna have this be a, a dodging character. Um, and we'll go up and check things out up here. Yeah, it gets annoying when you have to move to the left. And we could go back to the marshes. That is also something, but I feel like Chip Chop here, he really should, um, Become his own man and not go to the noobs uh noob area. 
a flower field. Okay, we could die here, like, super quick. We probably don't want to be in flower fields. It's gonna end really poorly for us. Um, I mean, the thing about flower fields is that it can have really good loot in it, but it also has enemies that, as a level one, could quite potentially insta kill us, like one shot. So I think going for the snap jaws, those little uh, canine critter things, probably the better move. I don't want to go after the shotgunner and his crew. But that's me being overly ambitious. Um, big farmer, I don't want your daughter making me lose my mind. Uh, there's a fire over there. Which makes me think there's probably snap jaws or traders or something. I kind of want to go to the east and look for that one consorta, consortium of the Phyta trader. Okay, we're not seeing anybody here. Okay, well, it's day. That means that we are going to take that and get that potter's knife. I, I'm not, I don't recognize that name, Potter's Knife. I feel like that's a new item. Uh, aggressive, hostile. I mean, it says it's average difficulty, so we might be able to take it. I'm just gonna attack and see how we do. Um, you cleave through their armor. Well, that's good. Uh... How are we doing? Seems like I'm not penetrating their armor. Yeah, we're not really penetrating their armor here with the items that we got. We probably want to fall back. Hold up. We can look at our abilities, though. And we could probably do a flurry. What does flurry do again? Is there a way for me to read? Um, uh, about them. About my abilities. I feel like Flurry isn't going to be too helpful to us. Okay, we are healed up all the way. How is it doing? It's actually not healed up all the way. I'm kind of curious to see if we do Inflate Axons. Um, and Flurry, how we fare against this thing. Come to me. We're going to... Um, Press A and B. E. Uh, did not penetrate. We hit for three damage. Or no, he hit me for three damage. Oh, we cleave through their armor again. Take that tortoise. Now we should start actually doing some damage because our hits will... You've got two less armor value. I don't know what you start off with armor value wise. Wise, but it doesn't seem to be stopping us now. There we go. Tortoise slain. Um, how do we... Uh, how do we wait to heal? I forgot exactly. Man, the, con it, the controls of this game I never can remember. Wait. Rest until healed is Omnitide? Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Omnitilled. I don't think we have anything to cook with. That's the one problem with starting in that village and not in Joppa is that we haven't gotten the um, harvesting skills that I normally would get from doing water rituals with people. Can't kill the crows because we don't have uh, ranged weapons. Oh, there's things uh, spinning seeds. Oh, look, another tortoise. Well, lucky for you. I mean, actually not lucky for you, lucky for me. I can take these things. So let's go ahead and we'll get nice and quick again. Yes. Um, there we go. And this one too. Oh, well the... Um, we did five damage with our knife there. Uh, cleave through their armor. Good. They've got one... Thing cleaved through there. Uh, 
Okay, he is actually making me a little concerned here, so I'm gonna fall back. I think they were sluggish now. If I look at myself, can I see the effects of things? Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. E, sluggish, yeah, so I'm moving a little slow. Is he bleeding? He's bloody. I don't think he's actually bleeding, though. Okay, let's just fall back. They had tightened their carapace. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait till we're healed up and then we'll kill this tortoise. Hopefully. Chip Chop, you're not gonna die to a, a tortoise. You can't. I won't allow it. Uh, do a flurry. Oh, we actually got some hits in there. Nice. Uh, okay. Nice! Hey, we just leveled up. Uh, now the question is, how do I want to use that level up that we just got? I think... Uh... Equipment, Cybernex, uh... Oh, we actually have an acid grenade? I didn't even see that. <laughs> we have a... We have some grenade. Um... I think we want to up our axe skill. Charging strike. Uh, I don't have charge. That's weird. Where would charge be? Not gonna be Wayfair. No. Uh, I feel like there's like tactics. Charge. Okay, well we can't get charge. But we can get this at the very least. I got 100 there, so I need to save up 50, I think, on the next level up. Okay, yeah. We're going for it. Yes. Next level we should get charge, and then the next one we should be able to get that axe skill. Trust me. We're going to want to specialize, and the axe specialization in this game is incredibly powerful. Oh look, another tortoise. Maybe we should have gotten the thing that helps you butcher animals. And if we really wanted to, I think we could eat the tortoise corpse. How are we doing with water? We're, we got tons of water. Cool. Uh, go ahead, inflate those axons. A. And... Flurry on this thing. Oh, we, we cleaved during the flurry. Nice. Combat-wise, we're actually no more powerful than we were before we leveled up, I don't think. Um, but we do have a, a little bit more health, which should be enough to make the difference here. There we go. Okay, let's just heal up, and I do want to look at one other thing. Yeah, we don't have any attribute points. That was the one other thing I wanted to check. Oh, great. We have 420 experience points. Uh, comment section is going to go insane. <laughs> Like they do, whenever they see that very special number. Um, this could be a problem. There's just some scavengers, there's a warlord. Any of them got ranged attacks? I don't see any with ranged attacks, so... I think we can take them? As long as we don't get overwhelmed. I think we can take them, yeah. These guys are not so bad. You, on the other hand, could be a bit of a problem. Can I get... I'm gonna pick up both of those for now. Where are you Where are you going there, buddy? Your warlord? I wanna see what's in this, trest, in this chest if it's uh, undefended. Uh, just witchwood bark and some torches. Not really worth picking up, but we'll go for it. I'm going to kill this lone Snapjaw. Yeah. Oh, he had an iron mace. That's actually a decent item. We could also eat their corpses. Not that hardcore. Uh, there is a brute that's uh, coming my way. I might want to take him out. Uh, but, uh... 
Do I want to let him come to me and then run around him and go for the other one? I don't know if I want to sprint. I think I'm just going to attack him. Um, inflate those axons. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. A and B. We did some damage there. Oh, we actually almost killed him. Wow, that was that was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Uh, sure, let's pick that up just because we have the carrying capacity. We're actually a pretty strong character. We're just ripping and tearing through these snap jaws. Wooly furs. Yeah, I feel like we were overly cautious um, when we bought that leather armor. We didn't really need to do that. Am I sluggish now? Is that what the flashing means? Uh, how do I check? I think I want to look at character, which I'm not sure which thing gets you to character. Normally just from the regular game. X. Yeah, we're sluggish right now. I'm pretty sure that's what this flashing red mean, means. Uh, you know, I think we can outrun a tortoise, though. So I'm going to go up here. Yeah, I think... Okay, we're no longer sluggish. Yeah, th that inflated axons combined with flurry... That makes you get some quick attacks just off the get-go. I like that combo a lot. Like, for real. It's a really good combo. Do I try and kill the tortoise? I don't know if I, uh... I really want to bother. I think I want to kill the warlord. There's leather armor right here. Yeah, we didn't really need to bother with what we did earlier. That was kind of me being not smart. Jura tortoise, come here. Uh, he did not penetrate. I did cleave through your armor there. Makes me want to keep on pushing. And see if we can kill you. Yeah, we can kill you. Alright, we got another level. That means... Wow, we got two levels in the first episode. I'm happy with that. Oh, we can actually up our, um, our strength. I think I want to do that. Yes. Hey, we're even stronger now. Um, oh, we could get this member. <gasps> I don't want to get this member. That's going to immediately... Yeah, let's do that. That's going to make this playthrough pretty fun. Dismembering is like one of the most fun things that you can do in this game. By the way. Let's, uh, let's see if we can dismember some limbs on this warlord. Yeah, we're not full health, but whatever. We're gonna inflate these axons, and we're going to try dismembering. Oh, that's perfect. Dismember is D. Um, did I actually dismember him? Missing right arm and her right hand. <gasps> no way! We just took their arm off. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you're cleaved now. Good luck. Snap child Warlord's right arm. Yeah, you can get people's faces that way, and then you can uh, do some pretty interesting stuff with them. Uh, Jewel Encrusted, I think we want to show effects or look at. Doesn't it give you some history? Gives you reputation with water barons. Kind of makes sense. Um... Don't do this at home. And we're not hungry enough to eat it. Oh, game. You gotta ruin my fun, huh? Not letting me eat the arms of my enemies. Uh, salamander we could just easily destroy, huh? I don't think it's attacking me, no. Okay, cool. Well, we're getting near the half an hour mark. I've really enjoyed playing this. Oh, this horned chameleon could totally kill us. Do I do I want to face it? I think I want my quicker reflexes if I am going to face it. Let's, let's do it really quick. This could be the end. This might be it. 
I think horned chameleons can hit pretty hard from what I remember. Yeah, let's, uh, let's let them get right next to us. Inflate those axons. And I'm going to start with uh, Flurry on him. Oh, that actually killed him right away. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.